for you family. Today on Passport Kings, we're counting down the top 10 African countries where tourists hang out. In game. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Yo, a lot of people, mainly Passport Queens, they be asking me, why do I act like that South America is the only place, or the only continent where people hang out? My short answer is, no I don't. And neither does other chronic tourists. That's chronic meaning doing something all the time, not the other type of chronic. But anyway, I love Africa too. But like a lot of other travelers, we probably want to go to the places where the most tourists travel first. I mean, cause logic tells me if more people are going there, then that means there must be more to see. And yeah, I'll work my way up into the regular communities after I feel more comfortable. Yo, so check out this quick, and I mean real quick commercial break, and I'll be right back with that list. Hey, did you know that if your flight is delayed for any reason that most airlines will give you alcoholic drinks for free? It's not publicized, but when the flight attendant returns with your order, chances are he or she won't charge you for it. So drink up and learn hundreds of other tips and tricks like this that airlines are not telling you in the book that Passport King recommends called Travel Secrets, Discover What the Airlines Will Never Tell You. Yo, the link is below in the description and get it now while it's half off of what I paid for it. Your travel budget will thank you. Okay, so here are the top 10 countries in Africa that most tourists visit. Please bear with me with the pronunciations. I'm trying my best, man. Okay, so number 10 is Senegal. Senegal gets 1 million visitors per year. Visitors are going to Lago Rosa in Dakar, the Joel Fadial Village, the Gambiol Desert in St. Louis, and the Village des Arts. Also, check out the museums and the nightlife in this African wonderland. Number nine is Nambia. They also get a million tourists per year. Visit the ghost town in Kalmanska, the Oko Koizho Waterhole in Itosha National Park, and of course the Karibu Safari in Winhoek, Twyfelfonitian in Damara Land, Manjeri and Duisip Castle in Hardak. Number eight is Uganda. Uganda clocks in 1.3 million tourists per year. First and foremost, visit the Gaddafi National Mosque, and that's in Kampala. After that, you must see the Nile River's source in Jinja, and that's called Speke Monument. Go on an African day tour also in Kampala. And lastly, visit Wamala King's tombs in Central Region. Now number seven is the birthplace of the 44th President of the United States, father, <laughs> see what I did there? And that country is Kenya. Kenya gets 1.8 million visitors per year. And the hot spots is the Mombasa Tusk, Mara Na Boisho, Conservancy, the Lunatic Nile in Savo, then go on a safari in either Nairobi, Wadamu, or Mombasa. Number six is Algeria. This country gets 2.3 million unfamiliar faces per year. Check out the Havana Club, the Black Ball, and also the Crystal Lounge in Algiers for nightlife. Next day, check out La Rue de Dolce, Murad, still in Algiers. Even better, go to the Royal Mausoleum of Mauritania. Number five is Zimbabwe. With 2.4 million visitors annually, there is nothing in this world like Victoria Falls, which is called Mosi Otunya. Then bungee jump at Shearwater, or ride an elephant at the Wild Horizon, or gamble your savings away at Leopard Rock Casino. And that's in Moutier. Now four is Tunisia, and that's right across the pond from Italy and Europe. Tunisia gets 4.9 million tourists per year. Check out the El Gym Amphitheater, the Bardo Museum for the closest that you'll get to world ancient history on the globe. Of course, you also want to see the Sahara Desert, also Madia Beach, and the buggy and bike tours in Tatooine. All right, so now it's time for the top three visited countries in Africa. Three is South Africa. They get 5.8 million visitors per year, and you have to go to Table Mountain, and that's in Cape Town. 
go to the Cape of Good Hope, and then get drunk in Alexander Bar, the Thirsty Scarecrow, and Stalinbosch. And don't forget about Wild About Whiskey and Dulshra. Number two is Morocco. Almost 10 million visitors per year visit Morocco. And you'll enjoy the 4x4 and camel tours in Marrakech. There's Surf Star Morocco and Tamre, and the private day tours in the Moroccan desert. If you like riding 4x4s through the desert, then dining at beautiful locations like Krako Park and Agadir, Morocco is a can't miss. And number one, of course, Egypt. Now this is the Arab Republic of Egypt. This country spans the northeast corner of Africa and the southwest corner of Asia. Egypt has the longest history of any modern country. Now tourism has slowed down a lot in recent years. Because of all the unrest in the region, Egypt once boasted 14.7 million visitors annually. But like I said, trouble in this country and its neighbors that has numbers getting down to the Morocco tourist numbers. And that's about 10 million too. But yet, I'm sure it'll be back up, especially with tourist destinations like the Temple of Canark in Luxor, the Great Sphinx of Giza, the Pyramids of Giza, Giza, and also the Aladdin Day Tour in Luxor. All right, Kings, that's my countdown. Again, excuse any pronunciations that I got wrong. But more importantly, Africa should be first on your list if you want to learn more about the beginnings of civilization. Or if you have an ounce of melanin in you. Use caution, but don't get carried away like as if Africa is as dangerous as the media wants us to believe. Or that it's as poor and backwards as white supremacists want you to believe. Every continent on this earth has its dangers and it has its beauties worth discovering. I've heard of and seen places in the US Europe and Asia that are scared a normal person senseless. But remember, for every Pakistan, there's an Abu Dhabi. And for every Detroit, there's a Miami Beach. Plus, just stay out of the drug game. It's amazing how people don't like to link murder and violence to drug deals and fights over drug territory. My motto is, my name is Bennett and I ain't in it. But remember, black folks controlling their drug markets are no more different or dangerous or less different or less dangerous than any other cartels across the globe. And that's my words of wisdom. All right, follow me on Facebook. You know my Facebook page is facebook.com slash Passport Rock. And remember, right now, go to the button below and subscribe to Passport Kings on YouTube. If you're not looking at this from your YouTube channel, you could go to YouTube, put youtube.com slash C slash Passport Kings, and I'll get you right to my homepage. And remember to check out Passport Kings every week for new videos. Plus, and more importantly, go to my website and sign up to my mailing list. Of course, that's www.passportkings.com. And remember to sign up so you can receive your free gift. Now remember, don't sell or do or sell any illegal drugs or anywhere in this globe internationally. Don't do drugs. Be a king, a passport king. Peace. Million visitors per year annually. And lastly, visit Wamala King's tombs in the Central Europe. First and foremost, visit the tombs in the Central 